Hello and welcome back to CoopWorks Lightboard Sessions. And today we're going to be talking about Autopilot. Uh, and this is a feature underneath the capacity management for automatically managing both volumes and pool sizes. Uh, today we're going to focus on auto how you automatically manage PVCs in Kubernetes. So when Portworx is deployed to Kubernetes, um, you can optionally uh, integrate a uh, monitoring and metrics, right? So this is things like log DNA, Prometheus, uh, Datadog, those kind of things, right? And so these are usually deployed side by side or kind of externally to Kubernetes, however that may uh, work. But in either case, Portworx understands um, how to export its own metrics around volumes. So things like how much capacity is being used in a particular volume, how many IOs are going to a volume, um, how many replicas exist where, uh, what's the throughput of the volume itself, etc. So Portworx can make that available uh, at an API um, that it exposes uh, automatically. And so something like Prometheus can target right into this API and gather those metrics. Now, once that is complete, um, you can deploy what is called Autopilot. Uh, and as the name suggests, this is all about uh, automatically doing operations when conditions are met, right? So uh, when we talk about Autopilot, there are rules. And these rules are made up of uh, actions and conditions. And actions and conditions uh, are things that uh, the metrics uh, are going to provide. So things like capacity, right? So that's what we're going to focus on today. Now, let's say we have a couple of applications running in our cluster. Let's say that one of them is Postgres. And this Postgres database has a volume which is 10 gigabytes, right? And this is a, uh, this is a Portworx provided volume. Now, these metrics for this volume get sent over to the metrics API. Then uh, at the same time, Autopilot is able to pull these metrics from uh, the deployment of Prometheus or whatever you have for metrics. Now, once Autopilot is aware of these metrics, you can create these rules. So um, how you would target this application and this volume is by a selector. So if this application has a label of uh, app equals Postgres, something like this, then you can hand this to your autopilot rule. And then we talked about um, the rule being made up of conditions and actions. And we're going to separate these two here. So a condition uh, may be that the volume is, uh, let's say the usage is greater than 60%. And so this means that you know if you have a one gigabyte volume and you've crested that 60% of one gigabyte, then this rule will uh, kick into action. And uh, once you have a rule, you need an action, right? So we can say grow by 200%, right? So if you have a one gigabyte volume, it'll become three because 200% of one is two, and that's what's added. Now, Portworx can automatically resize volumes already. Uh, this just makes the manual intervention of editing a YAML file or having to go in yourself um, Eliminate it, right? So another thing to keep in mind is that you can have limits on this, right? So um, you can also put in 
never um, bigger than, let's say, 500 gigabytes, right? So if you have a rogue application and it's getting lots of data, you don't want this thing to grow more than 500 gigabytes because you know you know the underlying storage or or, or um, limits on certain namespaces or groups within your DevOps uh, organization. You want to propose these limits, right? Um, and the the other part of this that we'll, we'll cover in another video is that you know if you do have these problems where it becomes bigger than what you have underneath Portworx, you can scale Portworx itself automatically with, with autopilot. But uh, we're going to focus on the volume. So let's say Postgres starts using its volume and it starts using, you know, six of uh, that 10 gigabytes. This rule kicks in. Autopilot will uh, wait 30 seconds for conditions to stabilize. So this condition needs to stabilize and be true for that, that 30 seconds. Uh, and if it is, it'll trigger this action and um, 10 gigabytes will become 30. And that'll automatically happen. Kubernetes will become aware of it, Portworks will become aware of it, and then Postgres has more uh, data to work with, more space to work with. And this rule remains true, right? If, if it continues to grow and it uses 60% of that 30, it will trigger again. Now, in order for you to have some control over how often it triggers, we do allow you to kind of have uh, a way to set a, a cooldown period um, in the rule, which is, you know, um, after it triggers, it won't trigger again for, you know, two, five minutes, uh, etc. And these are all fairly uh, fine grained and configurable. So this is what Autopilot can do for you. And there are many use cases. This works with uh, both uh, stateful sets and single deployments of databases and stateful applications in Kubernetes. Hopefully you find it useful. I will add links below in the description of this video around uh, resources where you can learn more and try it out yourself. Thanks.